I get to chime in with my nonsense now? Yeah, it's you. I hope not. Okay, so Kerwin, I work with I work with athletes all the time, and I find golfers can remember every shot they've ever hit at every tournament and the guys with them. I don't know if actors are like that, but like, can you remember what you wore as the guy in the laundromat on soap in your first TV credited appearance? I wore a flannel shirt. I believe that was the, the shirt that was, um, um, uh, 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 you know, that he, he ended up accidentally taking away from me. Mm-hmm. So I, and then uh, kind of a, um, like a long underwear type shirt. Yeah, you guys are, people are astonishing when it comes to that. Uh, I need your, th- which of these is the best 70s show? Kojak, Good Times, or The Carol Burnett Show? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but it has to be Carol Burnett. She's just uh, too, too good and has has influenced our business in, in, in so many ways. Yeah, she yeah, fantastic. All really good shows, but I would go Carol Barnett as well. Uh, you're in L.A. What, what, what restaurant do I take my wife to there for her 25th anniversary? Who? Oh, how could I not be? There's a new restaurant that I've been going to that I that I like. Um, and it's in uh, Pasadena, and it's uh, called uh, Dos Peso. Uh, okay. Man, On the- Spanish, not not Mexican, Spanish. Okay, very good. I'll get on the uh, the whatever the the round table is or however you do these things. Uh, the original Chili Johns is in Green Bay. It closed in 2020. There's still one in Burbank. Have you ever been to Chili Johns in Burbank? No, I haven't. Should I? Yeah, I think you should. should. Totally. <laughs> yes. Completely. I know. Uh, right. Yes, I've seen that. Okay. Uh, we talk about you've done work in the theater. You've talked about work uh, in movies on the on on television. Uh, give me the challenge of voice work. I'm sorry, the what? What's the challenge to do voice work when you're just when you're you're narrating things? Oh, what's the challenge? Yeah. Reading the script properly. <laughs> Hear that. A lot of times uh, yeah, a lot of times they uh, um, it's easy to garble those lines uh, if you're not careful. Okay. Uh, you've had these big roles, Red, RoboCop. Something. Give me the maybe a lesser-known role that people most often ask you about. Oh, Dead Poets Society, uh, which I don't really think is lesser-known. You know, I just think that's a terrific film, and uh, uh, it was a great pleasure to be a part of it. I played the stern father of the boy who ends up committing suicide. So, you know, it was... Mm-hmm. It was tough. I mean, uh, I, I, as I said, I'm really proud to have been in. I think it was great, but it was it wasn't easy to do, you know, because he was such an unhappy guy. Anyway. So then, if we burn the candle at the other end here, and listen, Robin Williams was in there. Give me the funniest person you've worked with. Yeah, Robin undoubtedly was the funniest person I've worked with. Second would be Deborah Joe Rupp. Yeah. Hmm. That's my wife. Yeah, that's cool. Kitty. That's Kitty. Yeah, she's I, she is such a talented woman. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to work with her. And then finally, and I am not trying to retire you in the least, but I, I, I in my own way, may be trying to get out of it. And since I did wipe out, I'm a member of SAG AFTRA. Can you explain the SAG AFTRA pension program to me? Because I got a brochure and it makes no sense. No, no, no. I have somebody who works for me that has to deal with that. I, you know, I couldn't understand that to begin with. That's their main job is trying to figure out exactly how all that works. Okay. Around as well as health, and, you know. Just... Okay. Can I get that per- Can I get that person's number then? Because I feel like I, I'm going to be working forever because I'll never figure it out. I'm like, this oh is what they gosh. do. They just all make right. you work till the grade because they're like, well, nobody will figure this out. We'll just tie them up. It's like going to court. We'll just tie them up and they'll never. This will be fine. Right. We'll all put it in our pockets. So. Thank God I'm not the only one that's confused by that. 